Happy Wednesday, everyone. We are continuing with our Outsiders unit, and we are moving on to Chapter 2 of the Outsiders. Um, chapter 2 is shorter than Chapter 1, so we're going to be doing this um, whole chapter today. Um, so this is an important announcement. If you are not caught up on your reading, say you're asynchronous this week or this first part of the week, and you have not read Chapter 1, don't start with Chapter 2. You're missing out on the introduction to our characters. So make sure that you start with Chapter 1 before moving on to Chapter 2. Hopefully you've turned in your chapter one response, double check that you have, and then you can move on to chapter two, which we're going to start today. So let's review chapter one really quick. Who have we met? Whose point of view is the story told from? What is a greaser? What is a soch? And what time period does this take place? Well, we have met several greasers up to this point. Our story is told from Pony Boy's perspective, and Pony Boy is a young, a teen boy who is a greaser and a greaser is a um, one of the poorer boys in their community and the greasers often get into trouble they get blamed for a lot they're running from the cops a lot and they typically don't do well in school they don't have good relationships with their parents um, where the socials are the opposites these are the ones who are wealthy in town they play sports they get the best grades they're favored in school they get to go to college where greasers kind of are stuck with who where they're at in life and so we see these mounting tensions between these two groups so pony boy has two brothers he has um dairy or daryl and then he has soda pop yes plenty of weird names in this story and so we are going to learn more about these greasers and how they band together they almost act like brothers and remember, this takes place in 1960s, so we're going to have a lot of terms um, or words that aren't familiar to us in 2021, um, but were used commonly in 1960s. We met a couple greasers, other greasers like um, Steve. We met we met um Tubit, we met Dally, we met Johnny. All of these boys are greasers that have bonded together in their life experience. We learned that Soda Pop is dating Sally. He's in love with her. That's what we heard about at the end of chapter one. We also have um, a basic understanding that something happened to Johnny in a rumble a long time ago and that something happened to him that was really traumatic to the whole group and so they protect him. We also learned a little bit about Dally and how he's kind of a loose cannon. He does a lot most dangerous things. People are kind of scared of him and there's a lot of mystery about him. We also learned a little bit about the relationship between the three brothers, which we're going to get into more detail later. So when we're looking at these relationships, we have to ask ourselves, um, who are close friends? Who are siblings? And are they all similar or are all they or just because they're a greaser, does that make them different? So let's look at this picture right here. This will help us distinguish our characters. So this is Pony Boy right here. He's our main character. And this is based off of the movie, okay? Um, so Pony Boy's uh, oldest brother is Derry. And Derry is really serious. He is the one who provides for the family because we know that their uh, parents are no longer around. He's the one that has to drop out of school to make sure to work a job to make ends meet. Then we have Pony Boy's other brother, and his name is Soda Pop. And Soda Pop is kind of the opposite of Derry. He's carefree, he's fun, he has a girlfriend, he's always playing around. He doesn't take school seriously, and so he also has dropped out. Then we have um, we have um, Soda Pop's best friend, who is Steve. And Steve, we haven't heard much about Steve yet, but Steve kind of goes around and hangs out with the greasers, makes sure that people are out of trouble. Then we have Pony Boy's best friend, Johnny. And like I said, something bad happened to Johnny. So they're all very protective of Johnny and want to make sure that he's okay. Then we have Tubit, and Tubit's kind of a funny character in this story. He's going to make a lot of jokes, but he's always going to be ready for a fight. Um, so he's always there to protect his friends. But then finally we have Dally. And Dally, he's kind of a loner, kind of a lone wolf. Even though he's in this group, he kind of does his own thing. And it's even alluded to that he just got out of jail. So obviously he's done some really bad things in order to end up in jail. So we're going to talk about how their relationships all together make them closer and how they drive each other away as well. Now just 
what we know based off of chapter one, get in your head. Do you think that all greasers are the same or do they have distinct personalities that might make them different even though they all have the commonality of greasers? That's for you to answer. So your, one of your questions from yesterday's chapter response um, was to write a vocabulary word you did not understand and its definition. So let's go over a couple words that came up in chapter one that I thought you might have written down. You might have written down um, editorials and an editorial is just a newspaper article and this is usually opinion based. You might have written down blue madras, which we talked about yesterday, that this is a lightweight fabric or a plaid shirt that socias are usually wearing. You might have said loping, which loping is just long strides. Um, another word that you might have came in contact with, with was vacant, which just means empty. And oh, another word was switchblade, which is a type of knife that pops open with a little button. Now, when you're filling out these questions or when you come across words that you do not know, make sure to always use context clues. So double check your answer. Did you use context clues or did you just look up the definition? Um, you know, there's a time and place to look up what a word means, but using context clues will allow you to really understand what it means in the story. The other question you had was to predict what will happen next. And I bet you wrote something awesome here for your prediction. But let's talk about um, how our predictions can help inform what we're going to read in chapter two. So you probably made a prediction that has to do with one of our main characters. Maybe it was about Johnny. Maybe it was about Pony Boy. Maybe you talked about the relationships between greasers and uh, socias. Maybe you expected another fight to break out. So when we read chapter two, ask yourselves, was my prediction right or was it wrong? And what happened that was expected and what happened that I did not expect at all? So right now, what you're gonna do is you are going to read chapter two, and this takes place on pages 18 through 32. So on Google Classroom, you're gonna go to Wednesday, chapter two, Outsiders. And you're gonna notice the audio is right here. The chapter response is right here and the text is here. Remember, I want you to follow along with the text as you are listening to the story. Then fill out the chapter response when you're ready. Do not start the chapter response before you have read. And by the end of today, you need to read chapter two. You need to fill out the chapter two response. So you'll notice on this chapter two response, you have one, two, three, four, five questions, okay? If you have any uh, questions about what you're doing, uh, make sure to send me a question, uh, send me a comment. You're writing a claim that describes the greasers. So give me one sentence about what the greasers are like. Give me a claim, give me one sentence about the uh, socias. And then you're gonna name three characters and describe them using three adjectives. Remember, adjectives are descriptive words. Then you're gonna tell me after reading chapter two, what do you still wonder about? <coughs> Excuse me. And then you're gonna summarize chapter two <coughs> in your own words. Um, you're gonna tell me about any new characters you met, um, any big events that took place. And then tomorrow we will go over chapter two. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I hope you enjoyed chapter two of The Outsiders. See you guys later.